everyone. In this episode, we're going to be adding a tag manager into our visual novel system, which will allow us to inject data into our dialog files. So we'll simply write tags into the dialog files, and then once it comes time to read it into the system, the system is going to look at those tags and it's going to inject the proper information. So, for example, our tags are going to be in the format of alligator brackets followed by the tag name inside. And each one of these tags will be read by the tag manager and have certain data injected in its place. So, in this instance, we could replace main care with the main character's name, which could be configured through an input panel later on. But for now, we're just going to stick with a static value. So we can replace main character, we can also replace time and player level, and any tags that we define within the tag manager. So let's go ahead and build the system to read these tags and make this work. This system is going to be in our dialog, and we're going to create a new script called the tag manager. And so for this tag manager, we'll remove start and update, and we're going to be using regex to detect the tags, just like we did for our, uh, our dialog data. So we need to make sure that we are using the system dot uh, text dot regular expressions namespace and we're going to keep track of all of our tags through a dictionary and this dictionary is going to have a string for the tag name but it's going to have a function that returns whatever the string should be that replaces that tag the reason we're using function is because when we create a dictionary we have to assign permanent values we can't assign references, uh, so we need to make sure that we have a way of getting updating data through the dictionary. So we're going to use a function for that. So let's make ourselves a private, and we'll have it only read-only. And this is going to be a dictionary, and we'll make the string the first value for the tag. And then to use the function, we're going to say function, and we're going to use a string as the return. So then we're just going to call this dictionary tags and set it to equal to a new dictionary of that type. And we need to define the regex pattern that we're going to be looking for. So we'll have a private, another read only, and this is going to be of the regex type. And we'll call this our tag regex. So this is going to equal a new regex with the following pattern. We're going to be looking for anything inside of brackets. And what we're looking for is a word character, which would be backslash w, but we need to backslash our backslash to make that work. And then we'll use the plus symbol, which just means we're going to be looking for one or more characters. All right, so we've got that. And now our tag manager is not going to be an object in the scene, so you'll notice I've removed mono behavior. We're going to create it like we did our conversation manager by a constructor in our dialog system. So let's make the constructor for the tag manager. And the only thing that we want to do when we create it is initialize our dictionary with the values, with all of the tags that can possibly be replaced inside of our visual novel. So let's make a function a uh, private void called initialize tags. And in Tag Manager, we're just going to go ahead and initialize the tags when we create it. Okay, and so when we initialize, now we're going to populate our dictionary with all of the tags that can possibly be used in our system. We'll start just by referencing the dictionary and then defining the tag that we want to define. First one is going to be main character, and this is going to be equal to the result of some sort of function. So we could easily just make this a string instead of a function and then just set a string here, but then we couldn't, like I said, have changing values and monitor different things and use use like system times and system functions to get the results that we're looking for. So we're going to use lambda and we're going to reference it to look for just some static name right now. This is just going to be Avira, but the... Um, the way that the main character name is going to work is we will be able to configure this through an input panel later on, but we don't have anything to save that to, and we don't have an input yet. So we're just using a regular uh, constant value right now. We'll change that later on to something dynamic. But what can be dynamic is our time. And so our time is going to be the result of a function, which will be our date time dot 
now dot to string and we want to use the format of our hour minute minute and then am pm so our minute and then whether it's am or pm and our next tag is going to be um, it's going to be player level and player level is again something that could be dynamic but for now it's just going to be equal to 15. The last thing that we're doing for right now is going to be a temp val, temp val 1. So you can use words and you can use numbers as well. And this is going to be equal to the ultimate answer, 42. So here are our little tags right now. Whenever we want to add more, we'll just go ahead and come back in here and add more to the dictionary. But for now, this will be enough to get us started. So we're going to need a function to inject the tags into the string. We'll make this public and it'll return a string which has the injected data. It'll be called inject and we'll just take a string for the text that we want to check. The first thing we want to do is we want to make sure if our regex pattern is found within this text. And we can do that by checking if tag regex dot is match and checking it against the text. If that's true, we have a match and we have tags in here. Possibly. They could be rich text tags, but uh, let's go ahead and see if any of them match. Well, first, let's get all of the matches for our uh, regex. So we'll do a simple for each loop and loop for every match called match that is found in tag regex dot matches. What are we matching for? We're matching our text for that pattern. So for every every matching tag inside of our text of that pattern, we need to check if it exists inside of our dictionary. So if tags dot try get value, and we need to try to get the match dot value, which will be the tag that it thinks it's found, and we want to rep we want to cast that out the the result of that, which is a function. We want to cast that out to a variable called the tag value request. That's the function that can get us the value that we're looking for. So then we'll just say text equals text.replace, and we're going to replace the match. Always do math. I always uh, type math instead. So match.value, we're going to replace what we think is, or what we have found to be the tag, with the tag value request and call it like a function to get the result. And then at the very end, we just return text. So that should go ahead and get all of our tags if any of them are contained within a string. And since our conversation manager is the one that runs all the dialogue from the files, we'll go ahead and add the tag manager in here. Since nothing else will really need access to that, we can make it solely for our conversation manager. So we'll make a private tag manager, tag manager variable. And when we construct this conversation manager, we'll also say tag manager, the variable, not the class, tag manager equals a new tag manager. And now we've got all the tags initialized and ready to go for us. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and inject that into our dialogue. In running conversation, when we run the dialogue, let's come down to build line segments. And where we go to build the dialogue, we're passing in every segment to our dialogue to show it on screen. Now, before we append it or build it, let's go ahead and inject that data into the dialogue. So we could say dialogue equals tag manager dot inject, inject the text into the dialogue. So if we have any tags, then we're going to replace it with all the data and that will then show up on screen. Now, if we look at our test file, that'll go ahead and inject all the tags for all of this dialogue, but not the main character tag for the name. We need to inject any tag into the character name if it's found in the character name, just as in this instance, so that way we can get the proper value. So back in our conversation manager, let's go back up to uh, running our conversation in line run dialog. Here we have a function called handle speaker logic, and this handles everything with the speaker data. So if we go in there, we have a little part here where we add the character name to the UI using dialog system show speaker name, and we're just passing in the display name as it is. Now, what we'll do instead is we'll pass in the safe name, which would be the tag manager dot 
inject, and we will inject tags into the speaker data display name. So if we're using the main character tag as our speaker name, then our speaker will show up as the main character, whatever that may be. So then we can go ahead and come into Unity and run this. And our narrator says, so begin the adventures of Avira, which according to our text is actually the main character tag. So it's been injected. And now we move on. Avira, my name is Avira. What time is it? And now narrator is going to respond with the time is time. So we should get the system time. And then you are only this level. So we should get the layer level of the player too. So let's try it. The time is 2.24 p.m. and you are only level 15. And then forget about it, 42. So the neat thing about this is if we come into our character configuration asset, where we've got all of our characters configured, we can go in and we can add a new character entry for the main character. So we can use that tag, main care, and then just use an alias, MC perhaps. And although we really won't be using an alias for main character, I haven't tested that out. And so we can just set the color of the text to maybe some purple and the dialogue to a little bit of a light blue. And we'll change the name font to a different type and the same with the dialogue. I'm looking for a particular, there we are, something different. So let's go ahead and maybe set the name font scale to one and then the dialogue to 1.2. And using the main character tag, we should get the main character name, but still use this configuration for the character. So begin the adventures of Avira. And there we are, we sure are. We're using that custom text and the custom colors. So that's all we've got for the tag manager for right now. We'll come back later once we've got some ways to actually save some data and then load it dynamically. But for now, this sets up the system to where we have our base in place for everything that we need to do from here on out. So that concludes this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one.